So the human heart has four heart valves. Uh, the valves are designed to function as a one-way door or a check valve. For the adult population, the most common valves that become diseased are the aortic valve and the mitral valve and then the tricuspid valve. They function, like I said, as, as a one-way door, and that's an analogy I use with most patients. Just as uh, a door may become dysfunctional, so a valve could be dysfunctional. So either it doesn't open all the way uh, or well, we call that uh, stenosis, or it doesn't close and seal well, and we call that regurgitation. So a valve that doesn't seal well will leak, and a valve that doesn't open well, uh, there won't be sufficient blood flow through it. The earliest symptoms are usually just uh, decreasing stamina and increasing fatigue. Particularly as we get older, many patients just ride it off to old age, where they're just not in, sh in shape like they used to be. They're getting older and would say, well, I, just, I, I don't expect to have the energy that I used to. But the difference is it's a, it's, a, it's a little bit more of a sudden change, where you know last year they were doing fine, and this year they just don't have quite the energy they did last year for not a great reason. The symptoms can progress further, whether they start to have some chest pain, chest discomfort, chest tightness uh, on exertion or at rest, or even cause people to pass out or black out. Any doctor can listen to your heart uh, with their stethoscope, and if they hear a murmur as an adult, that's usually the sign of a heart valve problem. There's a, a specific uh, murmurs that we hear in childhood that are normal, uh, but usually those, aren't, those murmurs aren't retained all the way through adulthood. Valve disease in the adult uh, is something that's easily treated, and for the majority of patients, that treatment begins with just a regular follow-up with a cardiologist. If you have just some very, very mild dysfunction on your heart valve, you may not need any medicines, just continued follow-up with a cardiologist. Uh, but then um, as things progress, uh, medicines are really good at help controlling the symptoms, uh, but they aren't uh, very good at solving or fixing the underlying heart condition itself. Ultimately, that may require some form of heart surgery.